The District Social Services Board has completed its first physical security review in nine years. It outlines some of the safety concerns in its social housing buildings and recommendations for improvement. It was carried out by external consultants who found no significant issues at most of the properties, but did identify that six of the 50 DSAB locations are higher risk. The violent situations that have occurred, people are known to each other. So they, as the police have told us, these are not random acts of violence, but I, you know, I'm, I'm sure that it is unnerving for other tenants in the buildings when a situation like this happens. CAO Bill Bradica wouldn't disclose the six buildings that are considered higher risk, but there have been two homicides at DSAB buildings over the past year. Some of the recommended improvements are to enhance monitoring and response, add more mobile security patrols, and improve security systems. Bradica also says residents who should be in transitional housing need to get the proper support before entering those buildings. A significant lack of that type of housing. Um, our board has tried to address that with some of the funding it received through the Social Services Relief Fund. An example is the, the Matawa site on Algoma Street. There's now 21 units of transitional housing under construction. There are six family units of transitional housing that I believe are close to ready for, for occupancy, th those types of examples, but we need to multiply that by 10. The DSAB will take the recommendations and try to fit them into next year's budget. All of the recommendations could cost more than half a million dollars to implement.